subscribe now. EU debates. Thank you, dear President Pendarovsky, dear Speaker Jafferi, honorable members of the Parliament, Prime Minister Kovacevsky, President of the Supreme Court Ademi, it's a pleasure to be here and I thank you very much for the invitation, the honor to speak to you here in this honorable parliament and to this plenary. I wanted to be here today with you so that I may speak to you directly, so that you may hear from me how Europe is waiting for you. Waiting and hoping that we, you will take yet another step towards the Union. Your country is a candidate to become a member of the European Union. Since 2005, many of you here and many, many more who are absent have worked so hard to become a member of the European Union. And only four years later, in 2008, the European Commission recommended that we open accession negotiations with you. Since then, we have consistently stood by your side. And now, finally, we could be on the threshold of a decisive step forward. I am here today because I believe that this is the moment for you to move ahead towards our common future towards our common future in a European Union with North Macedonia as a full-fledged member. You have shown boldness and determination before. The Prescott Agreement was a profile in courage. Two countries that agree to move forward and write the next chapters of their history together. And this led you to become a member of NATO. And after more than two years of NATO membership, North Macedonia has shown that it is a reliable security partner and provider, a real added value to the alliance. And I know that the same will happen when you become a member of the European Union. I know this because you have already demonstrated a vital capacity to change your society for the better. Your efforts to strengthen the rule of law, to fight against corruption, are commendable. You have established a strong record of human rights. You have a free media. You have a vibrant civil society. You are a successful model of a diverse, multi-ethnic society forged in the historic Oric Framework Agreement. You chose a path of peace rather than conflict. And this was the path of peace shown by the late President Boris Trykovsky. He said that he, and I cite, intended to be the president of all citizens regardless of their ethnic or religious background, 
regardless of their political standing. And he added that he would not allow ethnic hatred and intolerance to undermine the stability of the country. Honorable members, many of you will understandably be frustrated that your country has not yet begun accession negotiations. And let me tell you, I am too. The Commission has been recommending the opening of the negotiations for the last 13 years. And you will be, understandably, frustrated that the opening of negotiations with the European Union did not immediately follow the PRESPA agreement. This was bitter. But you never gave up. And we, together, never gave up. Together, we followed our dream of one European Union. And together, we will turn this dream into a reality. We must all now turn our gaze forward. We must grasp the opportunity that lies before us to launch accession negotiations and work together on the path that takes you into the European Union. We can do this as soon as next week by taking the first step of the revised French proposal you are all very aware of the revised proposal. It protects your interests and addresses the concerns of many sides. Be reassured that the Commission that has always stood by your side in this country continues to stay by your side and will be there for you tomorrow and all the many days after. We are convinced that this is a historic importance. But the decision is yours to take and yours only. Ultimately, this is about the path you chose, and you have chosen before, with the ORIT framework, with PRESPA, with the building of a vibrant society and democracy. Should you decide to endorse the revised French proposal, a political intergovernmental conference will be held within the next few days. We, the Commission, will then start immediately to process the screening of screening the Yaki. And this is the first step in the negotiation process. And we will then be glad to welcome your negotiating team to Brussels and send our negotiating team to your capital to start working together. Vrati se na mesto, a pasjev, vrati se na mesto, vrati se na mesto, a pasjev. As in any democracy, we listen to each other, we listen to the arguments we have. I listen to his argument, you listen to my arguments. I thank you for this democratic behavior. Dear Macedonians, I have listened carefully to the concerns expressed regarding the Macedonian language and identity. There can be no doubt that the Macedonian language is your language.
And I'm happy to repeat it, there can be no doubt. There can be no doubt that the Macedonian language is your language and we fully respect that. And that's why the revised proposal refers to the Macedonian language without qualification by the European Union. The proposal also respects your national identity. The principle of self-identification is so important for each one of us. You can count on me as President of the European Commission to ensure that the accession process will strictly abide by European principles and European standards. Yours is a successful multi-ethnic society and it mirrors the EU's motto, United in Diversity. You have shown commitment to the rule of law, to the protection of human rights, to the rights of all communities. And these are values that we all share. Amending your constitution to advance fundamental rights further will reinforce your commitment to these values. And then, this will automatically complete the opening phase of the negotiations. It will trigger another intergovernmental conference without any further decision. Good neighborly relations and regional cooperation are part of the DNA of European integration. And these are also essential elements in the enlargement process, as well as the stabilization and association process for all enlargement countries. Let me reassure you, bilateral issues, such as the interpretation of history, are not conditions of the accession negotiations. Some say it would be better to wait for a better deal than the one presented by France. It is, of course, your right to do so. But please consider how hard we all have tried to get here through successive presidencies. Germany, Portugal, Slovenia, and now France. And I encourage you to seize this opportunity. By opening this door now, North Macedonia empowers itself by being in the negotiation process rather than outside of it. And benefits will accrue as you progress. Investments, improved trade links, closer collaboration in key sectors such as energy and transport, new good jobs, business opportunities. This is what the young generation wants. They love their country. They want to build their future here, and rightly so. These young people are willing to work very hard for that. But they need the opportunity. And let us open the next important door for them. I have children. I have a granddaughter. Many of you have children. Some of you have grandchildren. And all of us together, I think we share the same dream. 
that one day we are looking back and we can say our children and our grandchildren, they are all part of the same European Union. That's what we want. And this is the future you are deciding about here, today, tomorrow, and the next days. Honorable members, we live in very difficult times. As the COVID-19 pandemic is stretching into the third year, its catastrophic effects have continued to impact people's lives and livelihoods. Russia's brutal war in Ukraine has unleashed a devastating humanitarian and global food crisis. Energy prices are skyrocketing. In addition, we have to fight the escalating climate crisis. These are all daunting challenges that we must face. But we can master them and we will master them together as strong democracies, as one union. Your country has risen to the occasion. You stand steadfast with the union. You are a true and reliable partner. And I thank you for that from the bottom of my heart. You have shown your determination to the EU values. You deserve to move forward on the path to membership. Your decisive step forward is now yours to take. And I would like to end with another quote from President Traikovsky. I cite, it's his words I want to cite. I consider two things on a daily basis, what is right to do and what is wrong to do. According to my conscience, I am trying to abide by the right thing. My vision is peace. My vision is prosperity. End of quote. And I fervently hope that you too will do the same. Do the right thing for the peace and prosperity of North Macedonia, a soon to be member of the European Union. The future of your country is in the European Union. And Europe is not complete without North Macedonia. Vesakame voi you, blagodaram.